today in space. In space. And so uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to explain a complex topic like Delta V in the simplest of way, but no simpler, because that is our science communication initiative here at Today in Space. So the the, the example I thought of, I think, I think works. And if there's any rocket scientists, aerospace engineers out there, check me on this. Let me know how I did. But Delta V is kind of like if you're thinking about the best thing you can think about is another vehicle, right? Because the Delta V is not so much if you're if you remember your science and your your algebra and some, some of your calculus, the delta sign, that's the change in, so the change in velocity. It's not like a variable of like what this vehicle is possible. Like I can change maximum like a hundred uh meters per second really quick, like at an instant. It's like, no, 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 that's that's not what the delta V is. The delta V is more like how much fuel you have for your mission combined with how much you can actually make use of it with those rockets on board and, and thrusters and, and being able to change that. So it's, it's how you can change your velocity and how much changes you can do to your velocity. That's your tank. That's kind of like your fuel tank of change in velocity. So the reason refueling in orbit is so important is because for most missions, once you get up into orbit, you launch on the first stage, all right, the first stage goes away, but eventually the spacecraft is going to have to make some moves in orbit and get it to a certain point. So your delta V is dependent on how much you have left over after you go into orbit. What Starship is able to do and what Starship is going to change is once you're in orbit, you can fully fi fill the fuel tank back up for the Starship, making it possible to do way more with a mission than you've ever been able to before. And so why is, why is that important? Well, think about Delta V in this way. If we had fusion, you know, people talk about the future of space and, and the possibilities that are out there. Why fusion is such a, 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 a giant step forward and a, and a game changer for space travel is... If you had unlimited energy, you have an unlimited fuel tank, that means your delta V is infinite. That means that you can literally go to any planet, make changes. Your spacecraft now becomes something out of science fiction, that it, it's the one spacecraft that travels you everywhere, and you never have to worry about how much fuel you have, which means you can go planet to planet to planet, back to wherever you want. Uh, almost brings us into a Star Trek-esque era if we have fusion, where that is really just about making sure that the engine is working and, and everything. But you can do these long-duration missions and have humans on board these giant spaceships for a long period of time. But until we get fusion, we need to figure out how to be more efficient with our fuels uh, and, and our rocket systems. So... This is why the Starship is so valuable if it's able to do what it's able to do. By refueling the Starship in orbit around Earth, it allows the Starship to go to the moon and land and then launch back without even having to refuel. And that makes it extremely important. 